name is Andy Hall, and my absolutely my favorite enhancement in 2011 is the new dimensioning spacing tools. Last year they put this little rapid dimensioning tool that gives us a little, this little half sphere that we can select to place our dimensions on the fly. Well, sometimes we might manually place a dimension, maybe not put them in the location we want, or it might come in that way just by how we depending on how we dimension it. Now SolidWorks lets us now, new in 2011, we can select all our dimensions. I'll of course exit out of that tool. We can select all our dimensions. We get this little box here. Once I hover over this box, I can now globally add notes and prefixes, suffixes, change our, our tolerances. I'll just do a limit there. Well, now let's do a bilateral. Enter in some values here. And it globally changes all the values of our, overrides all our values of our, of our tolerance. Another cool thing that I really like is the auto arrange dimensions. I select on that, it'll automatically space these dimensions the way I want to. And let's get back to that. Yeah. And we have also this scroll wheel to, to dynamically space things where we'd want them. So we get a little bit better control over a whole group of dimensions. Another really cool thing is, let's go ahead and I'll just insert, I'll go from here, I'll insert a view. And now I have the ability to do an enhanced 3D view. Let me rotate this anywhere I want, any location here, just dynamically in the drawing. This has been around for a little while to be able to do this. What's new is the ability to save this view. And it's really cool that we can save this. We'll have a, we'll have a uh, let's see. We'll have a, this view will be right here on this menu. Also, when I go ahead, when I go ahead and open up the file, the 3D model, it'll appear on my space bar as, as that orientation as well. So it'll map actually back to the 3D model. So. This has been another quick tip video. Please check out our website for more videos. Thanks.